Hi and welcome to Encore and today on Encore Meets we are in the auditorium of the Fortune Theatre with these two fabulous West End stars. <laughs> Tell us who you are and who you play. Hello, I'm Matthew Spencer and I play the actor. And I'm, uh, I'm the other. I'm, I'm Stuart <laughs> Fox and I play not the actor, but I do play the actor, really. You do, yeah, you That's are. That's the problem. You are I'm an Mr. actor. Mr Kipps and the actor. And you are Mr Kipps. And I also play Mr Kipps. And the actor. And the actor. So already it's intertwined. Yes, it is. Already yeah. it's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us more about your journey with the show. Obviously, we're here at The Woman in Black, and I'm aware that you guys have done this show before. We have, yes. We've both done it before with You've done it twice, other partners. Yeah. This is my second time of doing it. Yeah, and this is my third. Uh, yeah, again, I've got through some other partners and I'm now, I'm now chewing on it. So you just yeah. get rid of them one by one, one yeah. by one. Yeah, you have to. So for people who aren't aware of the show, who wants to tell us more about The Woman in Black? Well, a spooky um, ghost story. So it's, it's based on a, on a book, a novella by uh, Susan Hill, a very spooky and scary book, uh, Woman in Black. So this is an adaptation of it, but it's, uh, it's very much, it's very different from the book, but it has its own um, treats in store for, for audience who come in to see it. It's a, stay, it's a play within a play, really, and uh, it's very interesting and, and good fun to do for us, yeah. Yeah, it's a great theatrical experience. It's kind of, it's, a, it's set in a theatre, uh, so that's helpful and useful. <laughs> um, and yeah, so it's, you know, this, this horrible thing has happened to, to Arthur Kipps many years ago, and it's just a way of telling this, this ghostly story that, that happened and is still haunting him. Yeah. He's got to a point in his life he's, uh, where he, he can't move forward unless he deals with the past. So he enrolls um, the actor's help in, in telling his story to his, to his family. So I remember the first time I sat in this very auditorium and watched this play. I was 14, hmm. came on a school trip, knew nothing about it. And we sat in the stalls and I sat towards the aisle. And I've never been so terrified <laughs> in my entire life. And it sat with me. I've come back and seen it three times. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you saw this play? The first time I saw it was when I was, uh, was going up for the job. So I came to see the show to see what sort of job I was uh, putting myself up for. And, uh, I, and I thought, blimey. And I'd never seen anything like it. I'd never been in a theatre where people screamed. I thought, what is this? I mean, this is crazy. I mean, you know, normally you either laugh or you, you keep quiet. Mm. Uh, but in this one, you're sort of allowed to make a lot of noises that are great to hear if you're on stage. You think, oh, we're doing okay yeah. here. I mean, especially when big school groups, school groups come in and, and they make a lot of noise. It's mm. great. We love it. Yeah. I, I, I came to see it, I think I came to see it when I was an A-level student mm -hmm. and came as a, in, a, in a small group. And yeah, I, like Stuart, I remember thinking, it's not going to be scary, is it? How can a, a play be scary? But I... I remember there's a few moments without giving anything away which stayed with me for a long time. And actually most of those moments are things that are simply happening in your own head. Oh, completely. And, completely. and that's the kind of magic and the fun of it is that most of the screams and the kind of shocks and the scary bits are all about the audience's imagination mm. and yeah, kind of... of what might yeah, happen, yeah, and so it's, it's great. It's a great fun to play with that with the audience every night. I think also what I enjoyed about as an audience member is the magic and simplicity of when there are moments in the piece where you direct the audience being like, imagine this, yeah. and straight away you can see it. Yeah. And there's no um, hydraulics and there's no like whiz bang set effects. It's purely very simplistic storytelling. Yeah. And that's what I think is most magical about it. Yeah, it's great, and that's 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 the that's the fun of it as well. Turning a skip into a few different things and turning using a stool in different ways yeah. and. It's that kind of That's poor, the joy poor theatre, yeah. poor... Yeah, back theatre. Yeah. Mm. Well, you have to create everything in your mind pretty well, yeah. And that's what makes it more scary. Yeah, that's true <laughs> theatre, that's brilliant. Completely. Mm. Yeah. Now, legend has it, this theatre has a few ghostly stories to tell. Hmm. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely has a feel... Uh, in certain areas I'm of this theatre. Uh, yes. Because it's oh, yeah. Diddy as well. It's, it's the smallest, I think. It's, it's one it's of, if not the, I'm not yeah, sure. Was, if it's, yeah, I'm not sure, I don't know. It could be, yeah. It holds it's quite small. It's just over 400 minutes. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a perfect kind of space Intimate for Intimate and lofty, this. it goes up high mm. in yes. darkness yes. up there, which can be... Yeah. You, I don't you, like it up there. Yeah. Have, you ever, have you been up there? I've never been, I wouldn't go up there if you paid me. Yeah, it is, yeah, there's some spooky little... 
But you st- didn't you think that the, that the ghost made an appearance up there, didn't you? I s- well, I don't know. I might have seen something that I don't know I see, but I definitely saw uh, something up in the upper circle one during show, the show during the show. Yes, the that's one thing. Toilet. It was a, yeah, yeah, it was a lost audience <laughs> member. No, um, it, well, there was there was there's a moment where there's no reason for anyone to have been up there, and you saw something, and there was somebody up there. So it might, I might have just, you know, been miscommunicating with one of them. But I asked the front of house team and nobody, nobody was supposed to have been up there. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I had, and I, and I don't really like the stage right wing very much. When what I'm on my, lo- I, don't, I don't know, it's my, imag- it's my imagination. It's not, it's not great it's, over there. It's my imagination probably more than anything, no, I but I, it fit, I, I often, there's a couple of moments where I exit and then almost come on, you know, two seconds later. And uh, I look forward to not being in the wings for those two seconds. <laughs> well, it is good luck for a theatre to have a ghost. Is it? is it? Legend has it, yeah. Uh, oh, well, good. Well, lucky well then, we, we're yeah. very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently, yeah. you've got at least a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so are you too superstitious? Or do you have any like pre-show rituals that you have to do to get in, into the show? No. No, not just really. Like, no. No. no, no. Well, I was just thinking, because I, well, I did this on tour <laughs> two, two and a bit years ago, and I got into it. Stupidly got myself into a superstition, whereas before the show I had to go through, I had to just say out loud, this, these three pages of the script, every single performance. Why did you get into I that? I don't know why I did it. I think I did it once, and then I didn't do it the next show, and I did something. I said something wrong, yeah. or, or, and then I thought, oh, it's because I didn't. And then I got myself into a, and then I had to do it every single right. show. So I made made sure when we started rehearsing, I'm not or then performing it. I said, I'm not, I can't do that. Not going to do that because you get you do get. You I, drew a line. You said I, no more. Shall I yeah. do that? Yeah. And I've got it wrong ever since. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this theatre, though, sitting here talking to you guys, you can hear it creak and move <laughs> and rumble. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's just Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, when, when we were talking about this system. It's, it's about a hundred years old now. This theatre, and it's very the feel of it, the Art Deco feel of it is very. Uh, uh, appropriate for the play, and it, it's just a, it feels just a little bit kind of uh, spooky yeah. and of the era. It certainly, yeah, it lends a great atmosphere to mm. the show. I think, yeah. How would you start the show in one word? Uh, God, I don't know. Have you got a word? Uh, theatrical. Good At- words. Atmospheric. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is very theatrical, yeah. It's, it's a celebration of theatre in a sense. It is kind of a love letter to theatre yeah, in a way, it is. isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, or an email. Or an email yeah, these yeah. days. Text yeah, yeah. What's yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A tweet. Yeah. Yeah. A Snapchat. Yeah. A Snapchat uh, to theatre. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to leave it there. But thank you so much for joining us here at the Fortune Theatre in the Auditorium of Woman in Black. And happy Halloween.